Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to my channel and to another video. And today I want to share with you my thoughts on some great, great, great new fragrances, new releases, and also most importantly, dupes of fragrances that have been long discontinued. And these are the ones that the whole fragrance community have been craving, I feel like, the most. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Just so you know, guys, for full transparency, this video is kindly sponsored by Juliana's Perfumes. If you don't know already, I've been working with the brand for quite a while now, and I absolutely love the fragrances. However, all the opinions are my own, and yeah, everything is super duper honest, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So I wanna also do a nice roundup of the brand for you because I haven't done it before, and I thought it would be a great opportunity because not only I have some new fragrances to show, but also I wanna share with you my absolute favorites from the brand. So if you're interested in that, if you wanna find great fragrances for very reasonable price with great quality, then just keep on watching and before of course please subscribe to my channel follow me on insta with that out of the way let's go all right guys so first things first i'm gonna share with you a few things about the new releases from juliana so as you can see guys this is how the box looks like i'm sure if you watch me for a while you're already familiar with it uh, very very nice presentation i think they're amazing for a gift so that's what I also love. They have a great return policy, so you can always return the fragrance if you don't like it. There's a little sample inside the box right below the actual fragrance. So check it out first before you open the main bottle and you know, just test it and see how you like it. You also get two additional big samples of other fragrances that you might actually wanna try. So yeah, um, very, very great value for money. Uh, they do have a new packaging. They keep upgrading their packaging, which I really like because, you know, um, you can really see that they really care about the brand's image and how the bottles looks and how it presents itself on your counter. So here we have the first one. This one is called Scarlet Leather. And this one is a dupe of super famous, and as I said, long gone, Mugler's Alien Essence Absolute. And I have been craving a dupe of it for so long. There's really nothing you can find that really resembles Alien Essence Absolute, which if you guys do not know already, I do actually have it. So let me show you the bottle. This is how it looks like. Stunning, stunning fragrance. As I said, super duper craved by people and long discontinued. Um, this is how it looks like. My boyfriend calls the bottle a ball sack. Yes, yes, he does. Um, but the fragrance itself is absolutely amazing. This is a strong vanilla fragrance, kind of like a Play-Doh vanilla, you know, that kind of vanilla. Very, very strong though. Uh, it has some mirror and of course that original alien DNA when it comes to jasmine and it's slightly woody as well. But mainly what you get is a mirror vanilla and jasmine in here. At least that's what I get on my skin. Um, this bottle is the only one that's left in my collection. So I really cherish it. I must admit, I barely use it. And uh, my juice is already super dark because if you guys do not know vanillin the vanilla oils which are used in fragrances most of the time oxidize with time um, so the juice does get darker so mine is pretty much looking like an old brandy which I do love I must admit so yes this one is super amazing I feel like I'm gonna say super duper and super a lot of times in this video so excuse me for that i'm just a little bit excited this one is so good like there's no such vanilla on the market like this one it's so intoxicating and unique i can see why people love this fragrance so much i was kind of a stupid person in that department because i could get so much more uh, when it comes to purchasing those bottles, because I remember they're being available on Polish websites, but they're not anymore. I 
should have gotten more but I didn't so I'm only stuck with this one which is a massive shame but thankfully thankfully there is a new release from Juliana again it's called Scarlet Letter and this to me smells exactly like it uh, the only thing I must say is that Scarlet Letter from Juliana, it's even more vanilla to me, meaning that it has a little bit less of that mirror note that Alien Essence has. And I think that actually might be, might be a little bit more pleasant to some people. So as you can see on the tester strips, I, I hope you can see, um, this is Alien Essence Absolute and it is quite dark, even on the tester strip. It's almost like orangey, reddish tone of the oil. Scarlet Leather is still pretty transparent, but I'm assuming that it might also oxidize a little bit because that's what vanilla usually can do. But in general, guys, I cannot spot the difference. I really cannot. And you know that in some cases I definitely do spot differences. In this case, I cannot, which is really amazing. As I said, in the dry down and as the fragrance starts to settle down a little bit more, uh, I feel like the mirror is more prominent in Alien, which I know that some people do not really love mirror in general. And I think that might be great for you if you struggle with it because Scarlet Leather doesn't have too much of it. So in general, it's a great release. The longevity is amazing. Like I never have issues with Juliana's perfume longevity. These are all extra de parfum. So not only they have um, high oil concentration, but also they do last way longer on your skin and on your clothes. Very, very happy with this one. This has definitely my stamp of approval, like a massive one, straight in your head, massive stamp of approval. I love it. I really, really love it. This one, I feel like, I'm gonna rate them in a second, all Juliana's fragrances, but this one I feel like is definitely at the top of my list when it comes to the favorites from the brand. Beautiful inspiration. Um, I'm very happy that they created a fragrance that's a great alternative to the discontinued Alien Essence because so many people did not have a chance to get their hands on it. Uh, not to mention that at the moment if you do find it somewhere online, A, it can be fake and B, it is probably ultra expensive. So at this moment you do have a chance to finally have your bottle if you missed out on it when it had a reasonable price and it was available in stores. So yes, now you have a chance. Uh, of course, I do have a discount code prepared by Juliana's Fragrances for you guys. Everything will be listed in the description box below. So that is Scarlet Letter and I have been wearing this fragrance for the whole week. So since I got it, I have been wearing it nonstop. This is how much I love it. Uh, this is a vanilla that's very potent, very long lasting, but it's not gonna suffocate you. I dare even say that I do wear it to bed and it doesn't make my partner sneeze, which is amazing, amazing. I'm so happy. So that is the first one. Okay guys, so here's the next one and I think it might excite you just as much because this one is called Dark Opulence and it is a dupe of Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. And first of all, let's be honest, Guerlain, the private collection of theirs, is super expensive and also quite hard to get. Um, I sniffed Tonka Imperial a couple of times, uh, but I kind of felt like, mm, is it really worth that hefty price? And usually I wanted it, but I went with something completely different. So I never got a chance to have my own bottle. Maybe that will change. But for now, I have been playing with Dark Opulence. And of course, the bottle looks just like the previous one. And now let me first spray it on the tester strip. 
beautiful, beautiful. So this one I would say is like 90% similar to Tonka Imperial. Obviously I do not have the full bottle of Guerlain so I cannot test them side by side but I pretty much remember that fragrance quite well so it's okay i i know how it smells this one has loads of almond cinnamon bar bergamot rose jasmine incense benzoin tonka vanilla musk patchouli sandalwood vetiver and oak moss so i think they did a couple of tweaks in here but in general this is super 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 similar uh, again the longevity is absolutely exquisite if you love those, you know, sweet but not too sweet, almondy, powdery, vanillic tonka fragrances, you're gonna absolutely love it. If you love Feuve de Lucie's by Dior, if you again love Tonka Imperial, obviously, you are gonna love this one. And you know, this always just blows my mind how you can make a fragrance that is such a good quality for a fraction of a price while all those brands are ripping us off so much. I know there's history, there's marketing, uh, there's all those things that come into those prices, but still, like, you know, when you walk by on the streets, they do not know what bottle you've been using. They smell the fragrance, you know? So in general, it's so, so good to have something like Juliana's fragrances in your arsenal, and this one is just magnificent. I absolutely love this one. I think these are such great releases. You definitely get that beautiful incense here. Again, that powdery, almondy, tonka mix. I am here for it. Again, I am a fan of Feuve de Lisieux. I am definitely a fan of Tonka Imperial, even though I never got around it. But um, the fragrance DNA is just just amazing so i highly recommend you check them out especially again the price is absolutely unbeatable and now you have discount code you can use so go ahead guys and just go with it just go with it go crazy because they're so 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 worth it all right guys so i hope you're ready now i'm gonna go through all my favorite fragrances from the brand which in my opinion are the best and absolute must-haves you have to get them when they're still in stock. So let me start with the first one and that is a dupe for Rouge Malakite from Giorgio Armani, another super expensive fragrance. And the inspiration by Juliana is called Bad Bitch and I adore this version. Honestly, I prefer it way, way much more than Rouge Malakite because Rouge Malakite to me sometimes is a little bit too herbal, a little bit too aromatic, while Bad Bitch is focusing more on those tropical florals and amber. Of course, tuberose is prominent in both of them, very, very tuberosey fragrances. However, this one to me is creamier, is smoother, is just better. Honestly, it is just better. Of course, this is only my opinion. Some people might disagree, but I like Bad Bitch better because it's sweeter, it's creamier, it lasts just as long, if not better. And you know, guys, that I do have a sweet too, so I will always go for something that's sweeter. So yes, Bad Bitch to me definitely wins over Rouge Malakite. And I cannot, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry to Rouge Malakite and all its fans, but I do prefer Bad Bitch. What can I say? I just do. Next one is another fantastic dupe, and that is a dupe of Gentle Fluidity Gold, which is definitely one of my favorite fragrances from Francis Courjan. And the inspiration by Juliana is called Liquid Gold. And let me tell you, it really is a liquid gold. So to me, Juliana's version, again, is sweeter. To me, is like a, a cross between Gentle Fluidity Gold and Montal's Intense Cafe. That's how I would describe it. You still get the juniper berry, so you know, you still get the uh, freshness and transparency of Gentle Fluidity Gold, but you get some denseness of Intense Cafe. A little bit more dense this one than Gentle Fluidity Gold, in my opinion. So uh, what I like to do is to wear Gentle Fluidity throughout the day and then 
top it off with liquid gold by Juliana for the night when I'm going to a restaurant for a dinner or something because this really amps up MFK and also makes it last very long and it is sweeter so obviously perfect for me. So yes I wouldn't say it's better than the original to me they're absolutely equal I love them both and they're amazing. So liquid gold, if you like fragrances such as Gentle Fluidity Gold or even um, Montal's Intense Cafe. I just, I had a bra brain freeze for a minute. Um, you should absolutely get this because you know, the price is way better than both of these fragrances and you're gonna be so happy with it because the DNA is pretty much identical. So that is that. The next one I do not have a full bottle of, but this is the fragrance that I fell in love with as soon as I put my nose on it. And that is Fragrance Du Bois Oud Orange Imperial. And to me, it's such a beautiful, slightly spicy, orangey vanilla with coconut. It's so gorgeous. I just, I was really, really craving it. I'm not gonna lie. However, the price point is just ridiculous. And let's be honest, it is ridiculous. And this has been a godsend for me because Juliana's came in and blew my socks off with Oud Orange Imperial, which is so good. So, so, so good. Again, I kind of feel like it's even slightly sweeter than the original. It's not as like harsh, spicy and in the beginning because I do smell slight harshness with um, Fragrance de Bois version. This one is slightly, slightly creamier and like just more wearable, so to speak. So this one is just fantastic. And this is a massive price point drop when it comes to comparing Fragrance de Bois and Juliana's. So I think you really cannot go wrong uh, with this version. It's just as good, lasts just as amazing and you get the same DNA. It's just so adorable. Um, you know guys, I really fell in love with the Fragrance de Bois perfume but I'll be honest, it's just very hard to spend so much money on one fragrance, isn't it? But this version is just to die for. Um, it's sweet, it's vanilla, it's slightly tropical, but I would say not too tropical that you cannot wear it for winter. Actually, it's a very cozy scent. So it's just perfect all year round, definitely on a dense, strong, powerful side. So love this one and this you absolutely have to get from Juliana. Next fragrance that I want to show you is another Guerlain and this one I do not have a full bottle of just because I actually did not appreciate the original so much because it has quite a bit of Angelica that can be very herbal and go quite bitter on me and this one is just perfect. This one is called red carpet affair and actually it was one of the first Juliana fragrances that I received and this is the fragrance that made me fall in love with the brand. So it's very sentimental value in here for me and the fragrance is just so beautiful, so natural smelling, so wearable for any occasion. It's super classy. It can be formal but also for some fun events or just going to work, to school, wherever. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. It is a beautiful greener vanilla. It has quite a bit of freshness to it, but you still get beautiful vanillic sweetness. It's such a calming, beautiful feminine fragrance. Of course, a guy can wear it, like for sure, 100%, but it is very feminine and for some reason it kind of reminds me of a summer day, actually evening, like by the sunset and you're, and you're somewhere maybe in the mountains, on a field, around the trees and bumblebees are all around you. Just, you know, that beautiful dreamy evening. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me also of color green and... Oh, 
it's just amazing just amazing beautiful memories it evokes in me and i cannot live without it so that is red carpet affair absolute must have from the brand guys you just have to have it okay next we've got another one that i think it's so outstanding and this is a fragrance that i wear pretty much for every day but I totally wouldn't mind wearing it to some formal occasion because it is inspired by the Lina Exclusive by Parfums de Marly. And if you don't know already, it's my absolute obsession, the whole De Lina line I love. Um, and the fragrance by Juliana is called Inner Beauty Exclusive. And they are very similar to each other. However, I must say that Inner Beauty Exclusive is definitely more cheerful, more flirty. It has way more pur to it. So if you love the pear accord in De Lina Exclusive, and by the way, pear, is making a massive comeback into perfumes industry this year. So I think it's a good time to invest in some Julianas because this pair here is so amped up. It's amped up to the max comparing to the Lina Exclusive. To me, it's also less powdery. Again, more cheerful, more daytime, obviously more fruity, but all in all, almost exactly the same. Oh, sure. mm, thanks, babe. But let me record. I'm recording. Go. No, Reyes, please. Why are you like Hi. this? Why are you like this? So, I love them both. They're amazing. Um, I can't really say which one's better because it kind of depends on you. Uh, the Lina Exclusive, you have more vanilla, um, more density. It's more powdery as well. Uh, with Inner Beauty Exclusive, you'll get more pear, so it's more fruity, more cheerful. The longevity, I would say maybe slightly better on the Lina Exclusive, but this is really like an hour of a difference. And if you don't know already, the Lina Exclusive can last for 12 hours plus, especially on clothes. On clothes, it can last until you wash it. So fantastic longevity, absolutely fantastic. I do have some more. Another favorite of mine that I also recommend is called Cold Cole. I mean by your name. <laughs> La, such a tongue twister. Call me by your name. And this is uh, another dupe of Guerlain, which is super hard to get. Um, and that one is called Gourmand Coquin. Uh, this one is called Call Me By Your Name, as I said. And this is a gorgeous chocolate fragrance, powdery cacao chocolate. So if you are craving a good chocolate fragrance that lasts for so long, um, but maybe you're tired of Chocolate Greedy by Montal, this one is slightly different. It's a different type of chocolate. It's not as much of that dry cacao um, that Montal has. This is more of a chocolate chocolate, you know? So it's just amazing, just amazing. So yeah, if you love chocolatey notes, I think Call Me By Your Name will be your best bet. Another one that I really do love is, um, of course, Inner Beauty, which is the dupe of the original Delina. Uh, pretty much the same story as it is with um, Delina Exclusive. Very good dupes. But my absolute, absolute favorites are definitely, and when I say absolute favorites, they're to the point that they exceed the beauty of the original to me is bad bitch for sure then we have um, dark opulence which is tonka imperial not only because of the price point but also the quality of the fragrance absolute beauty uh, of course scarlet letter the newest release to everyone who are looking for alien essence absolute now you finally can have it um, then we have Oud Orange Imperial. Again, you cannot beat the price. The price difference is enormous and the quality, there's really no difference in the quality, let's be honest. Um, so yeah. Then we have uh, Call Me By Your Name again, great chocolate. And last but not least, Red Carpet Affair, fantastic fragrance. And of course, both of the Delina dupes, which I do adore. There are so much more. We have also Love Don't Be Shy dupe. We've got uh, Baccarat Rouge dupe, which is called Aurora, which I also adore. 
so so many guys i think you just should check out their website and basically purchase everything that you like the original off because <laughs> it's so worth it so so worth it guys i highly recommend it um so yes guys use the discount code now you know my absolute favorites and the ones that i recommend the most so now it's your turn to check the website out and be happy. I know so many of my friends are so obsessed with Juliana perfumes at the moment. My best friend constantly wears Aurora. My other friend constantly wears um, the Love Don't Be Shy dupe. Like all my friends are just obsessed trust me and also my youtube friends like moon perfumes aman loves juliana's fragrances so yeah so many people are happy so i hope you'll be happy too guys and let me know how your shopping spree went so since the valentine's day is around the corner i think it's the best time to treat yourself or you know just let your man or woman know what you want you know how you know how to do it hey <laughs> i don't have to tell you so guys that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it i hope it helped you um this fact that we finally have alien essence absolute that's available to us is beyond amazing so yes guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one bye